Today's market is flooded with data analytics job and they don't have enough people around. Organizations have trouble recruiting for positions that require data analysis skills and demand for these jobs will continue to increase with about 11.5 million data related jobs being created in the US itself by 2026 and of course all around the world. Hence, with that in mind, Google just launched its full course on Coursera as they want to prepare you all and also make such courses more accessible to everyone more easily which can be taken from the comfort of your home. Hello guys, I'm Sarika and welcome to Your Knowledge Buddy. If you like the content of my videos, give it a thumbs up and click on the bell icon to receive notification of my new videos and if you want to motivate me, you can subscribe to my channel for free. As most of you know by now that I'm part of IT industry where I have played different types of role in my last 14 years of career. So based on my experience of data analytics, in today's video we will look if it's worth doing this course or not. I used the 7 day free trial to check this course out and made some notes to share with you. So let's quickly look at what this course is and I'll share the positive and negative points about this course and at the end I'll share my personal recommendation so this is a professional certificate which means when you will complete this course you will be job ready it is a self-paced course so if you are working full-time or you are a student you can study whenever you get free time Google recommends that you should take around six months to complete the course with 10 hours per week the course is over 180 hours and they have lots of hands-on activities and then also some quizzes and regular assessments to make sure that you are staying up to speed and testing your knowledge along the way this course had been rolled out in few countries like US, UK, Canada and few more countries and they have plans to roll out eventually to other countries as well soon. Cost of this course is $39 per month which is £28 which is equivalent to Rs 2800 and if you complete your course in six months, it will cost you £168, which is equal to Rs 16.7K. Also, if you finish this course in one or two months, you will be paying only for those two months. Now let's dive into details. Overall structure of the course, it starts with the very basics of data analysis and from there it moves into the entire process of extracting data to visualization of your data. This course is broken into eight different modules and course one is foundations which covers the basics of data analysis and covers on high level what the following course modules will be. Course number two, which is about asking effective questions, how to make data driven decisions. Being a business analyst myself, I know this is quite a critical step as you should know what questions to ask your stakeholders so that you get the meaningful data for your analysis. Course three is how to prepare data for exploration, which includes types of data and also how to use spreadsheet and SQL with database and data set. It also covers how to access database and extract, filter and sort the data they contain. Course 4 is about processing data from dirty to clean which basically means converting unstructured data into a structured data using SQL. So you will learn how to check the data integrity and learn to apply basic SQL functions for cleaning and transforming data. Course 5 is analyze data to answer questions. So in this course, you will learn how to organize data for analysis, learn about aggregating data, and learn to use formulas and functions in spreadsheet for data calculations. Course 6, share the data through the art of visualization. So this is about visualizing your data using popular software called Tableau, where you will learn and create dashboard and filters. Course 7 is data analysis with R programming. So you will use the R studio for this module to apply R to your analysis, explore the fundamentals of R, including tidy words package, data frames and R markdown. 
Last course is case study, which is optional called Google Data Analytics Capstone. I would highly recommend you to do this as it will help you clear your concept, apply your learnings and for good practical knowledge. And most important, it will help you with your next job. There is no point of doing all the models and not finishing with a case study. This case study will help you explore real world job interview scenarios and common interview questions. So in this case study it's really important before you start applying for your job so in summary you will be learning SQL spreadsheet which is Excel Jupyter notebooks programming language R and data visualization software tool tableau based on the course structure and timeline they will be covering only the basics so that you can at least start with entry-level jobs like data analyst and later with more exposure and experience you can learn the advanced skills or features as in when needed for your job now let's look at the positive point number one course is targeted for anyone everyone without any degree or without any technical background for entry-level jobs like data analysts and positions so if you complete this course you can get entry-level data analytics jobs like junior data analyst junior data scientist HR or payroll analyst finance analyst operations analyst business intelligence analyst healthcare analyst and many more Number two, upon completion of the certificate, you will have the option to share your information with top US employers that are hiring entry-level professionals like Cognizant, Hulu, Infosys, Intel, K-Force, PNC Banks, Tech System, UPMC, Veterans United, Home Loans, Walmart, and of course Google and many more companies. Currently, access to jobs in the employer consortium is only available to those eligible to work in the US, but it is expanding to India, Europe and other regions soon. Some of these employers actually have certain amount of quota that they have agreed to hire from this certification program and they prefer candidate with this certificate. Also Google is treating this professional certificate as equivalent of a four year degree when hiring for related jobs. Number three, the certificate can be added on your LinkedIn to make your profile more attractive. Number four, flexible schedule and hence you can complete the course at your own pace. Number five, I have done few Google certification before and what I really always like about their course is the structure of the course with lots of quiz and projects where you can apply your learning. So even this course got lots of hands-on and quizzes which will help you clear your concept. Number six, in addition to expert-led training and hands-on projects designed to prepare you for a job, you will get access to interview tips, mock interviews, and CV building workshops, career coaching sessions, and more. You will also be able to connect with over 130 US employers who are searching for candidates who have completed a Google career certificate. Number seven, it is providing you seven day free trial. So if you are unsure about the course, just enroll for free for seven days and check out the course and the whole structure. If you think it's worth your time and effort, go for it, else just cancel your free subscription to avoid any fee deduction. Number eight, if you're interested in any one module of this course, you can do that. And also, you can get shareable certificate for that particular module. Also, if you don't have money to take this course, you can take the course in audit mode, which means you can access the study material for free, but will not be able to get certificate. And I really think this is a cool feature. Now, let's look at the negative points. Number one, expensive. Not everyone can afford it, but you can apply for financial aid if you are not able to pay for this course by filling the online form and stating your current state and why you cannot afford this course and why this course is important to you. Number two, they're using R programming language as compared to Python. From my experience, I would have preferred Python because it's the language for data scientists and also easier to learn as compared to R. So what I think about this course and my personal recommendation, 
if you are not a beginner do not enroll for this course as you may find it slow and may not enjoy it so i will highly recommend this course to anyone who is a beginner or even someone who wants to start their career in it as you will be paid good salary even at entry level jobs as compared to the other jobs in the market the best thing is that there's no prerequisites to join this course and hence anyone can join with any background and google being such a big brand and a certificate from google will help you stand out from the rest of the crowd which means your cv will be noticed and will be easily shortlisted as compared to the other candidates applying for the same job also in terms of cost it's not very expensive and if you cannot afford it you can always apply for financial aid if you don't know how to apply for financial aid you can watch one of my previous videos where i had provided demo on how to put your application forward also this course can be taken by anyone who wants to upskill or move sidewards in your current role like business analyst, system analyst, functional analyst, or any other IT roles. Also, my suggestion would be if you have time and really want to build and grow your career in data analytics, learn both R and Python programming language. There are plenty of free material available on YouTube to help you out. One of the most important points which I would like to add here is since most of my subscribers are not in the UK and would like to come to the UK to study or work, this course can help you with visa sponsorship if you manage to complete this course and also gain some work experience. Big companies like Amazon is always on the lookout for data analytics and had sponsored visa in the past and is still willing to as they have more vacant jobs and struggle to fill those roles locally in the UK. So on that note, I'm signing off and I will see you soon again with my next video. Till then, keep learning and subscribe to my channel for free.